everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to do a little experimenting. I thought I'd uh, throw a video about it. Um, what I'm going to be doing is testing out EVA foam with the diode laser. Now I have cut this before on my CO2 laser and I, I actually sell some of these things as parts for uh, some RC airplane stuff. And I got an order for a few more in and instead of going out into the shop, it's cold and uh, firing up the the heaters and the big laser. I wanted to see what we could do on some of the smaller diode lasers with this. So uh, what I have is basically six millimeter or quarter inch black EVA foam. And we're going to be trying to make these cutouts into this foam, uh, into this material. So I haven't done this before with the diode laser. Uh, I'm gonna see how well it cuts. And uh, I'm pretty sure it'll be successful with this black stuff. Um, once we're done with that, I do though have some multicolor sheets. These are a little bit thinner, uh, but this will allow us to test the various different colors to see if we have success cutting EVA foam with this. Now EVA foam is laser safe to cut, but uh, it does produce some residue and of course some fumes as you're doing it. So you wanna make sure you have good ventilation and you wanna make sure that the foam you're cutting is truly EVA. There are some foams that might have some sort of uh, polyester or uh, any sort of vinyl in them, you wanna be careful with those as they won't cut well and or the vinyl will put out some uh, bad gases. So um, this is uh, actual EVA foam. It is uh, laser safe, compatible, but uh, do your own research on the foam you're cutting before putting it into your machine. So let's uh, jump into testing this out, see if we can dial in some cut settings and then see if I can replicate this simple cut on the dial laser so I can stay in my warm basement shop here in the winter and not have to run out to use the big machine in the uh, wood shop. So let's get started. All right, we've got the Wayne Lux L6. This is a 10 watt laser. It's got air assist on it and I've got a sheet of this black. It actually has a little imperfection in here. So this will be perfect for doing some test cuts on it. So first thing we're gonna do is get this focused on here. So let's move the laser over to our material. It's just clearing it there, so. All right, this one has a nice little foot on the side. Just drop that down to it, bring it back up. Now we may find we wanna lower it down a little bit just to get that focal point more into the middle. I've just, uh, I've, I've got one of the circles that we're gonna cut out. We're gonna just test with that really quick. Okay, we gotta move that. Up just a little bit more, right about there. All right, so we are going at 250 millimeters a second and 80% power just to kind of see if it's gonna cut it. Um, so let's go ahead and give that a shot. We're gonna turn our air exhaust on, and our air assist on. So we got both those going. Go ahead and hit start. We all cut right through, dropped out, uh, but it looks like maybe it was a little hot. So from there, what I might do is set up a test grid really quick. Actually, all dropped out, even at 400%. Back side, it's okay. So 400 might actually be our mark, but what I'm gonna do, now that we know that, I'm gonna see if just anything like 450, 450 works, that might be our sweet spot. We want it to basically just cut through, almost leave it. Almost leave it hanging. So there's 450.
We can push it up to 500. So here's 500. All right, so 500. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Very clean on this side. Very clean on the exit. All right, so we've got some usable material on here. I'm going to go ahead and load up my actual file. All right, that looks all good. We're, so we're at 500 millimeters a minute, 80% power. The preview says it'll take about five and a half minutes to cut this piece out. So let's send it and see how it goes. So we pulled this out and some of these circles are just holding on. You just press them and they pop right out. So I would call that very successful. Now it's not as fast as my big 60 watt CO2, but I don't have to run out to the shop, fire everything up just to get this done. So, so I was able to cut out the three of these that I needed and it worked pretty well. Um, did take a little bit longer than it would have on the 60 watt CO2, but that's to be expected. However, like I said, I didn't have to go out to the shop. Uh, I didn't have to be out in a cold area and fired up just for a few of these. So um, definitely something able to do on six millimeter EVA foam. And uh, so now I want to try, I've got these packs. Now these are thinner. These are probably about 1.5 millimeters. Um, so roughly, I think about a 16th of an inch. So I've got a few different colors here. We've got red, white, green, blue, and yellow. I mean, this thinner stuff. Now knowing that the dialed laser doesn't necessarily work well with some colors, I'm suspect about the white, possibly even the blue. We'll see if the yellow is too light of a color as well. Uh, but they are all opaque and solid, so we'll see how they cut out and see if it might be effective for other things on all these colors. So let's go ahead and throw these in the laser and see what happens. All right, so we're gonna start with the red, I've got it refocused, and I'm just going to be cutting a simple square shape out of this to see. I've bumped up the speed here. We're doing uh, 800 millimeters a minute and 80% power. Let's go ahead and turn our air on, and we'll turn our exhaust on. And let's see what it does. cut through. Very clean. Not much charring, not much overburn. It's all red's a success. There we go. Again, nice and cleanly cut out. Not even a lot of charring on the sides, which is good. Again, another success, very clean. Worked fine with the blue. And now finally, white. This is the one I would expect to maybe have the most problem with. That one had a little problem. It, it wanted to get through, but it didn't. So maybe if we slow it down. Okay. That one did fall out, however. So it's not as perfect. But still doable, and you know, if you're doing for craft stuff, it doesn't need to be super precise. You see, it, it did kind of have a fair amount of loss there. 
Um, but if you need non-precise uh, cutouts, it still can do some white foam. Now, if it got thicker, I don't know. I don't have any thicker white material, so like if it got a quarter inch, that could change things. But. All right, time to get a little crafty. We got these parts cut out. I'm gonna just try this uh, washable glue stick. This should work okay on this foam. Um, you could use a, a spray adhesive or even a contact cement kind of thing. Um, but we're gonna use this. It, sh it should set up pretty quick and um, hopefully work pretty well in there. Now I used tape when I picked this up just to try, to try to keep these berries all in kind of the same relation so we're going to try that uh, what i'm going to do is going to put these leaves down on our backer so all they did was i put this together on the image and then used the outline tool to uh, create an outline of this to give us a nice backer on this but uh, what we're going to be doing is basically placing the holly leaves into the piece like that we'll glue those down then we'll glue the berries on as well so let's go ahead and do that and see how it turns out. All right, well, there you have it. We were able to cut out my functional parts that uh, I need to ship out, and uh, we were able to do a multi-layered a little craft here, some holly and berries with a white backer. And so, you know, we went through all the different colors that I had available here in this EVA foam. So um, definitely something doable with these 10 watt dialed lasers and up. Um, I would imagine even a five watt slowed down a little bit would get the job done as well. So uh, go ahead and uh, do some research. Make sure the foam that you are getting is uh, EVA or another laser safe foam um, and do some experimenting. Um, a lot of people will use this in crafts. They'll use it in cosplay for making uh, various decorations and costumes. And um, just another fun medium we can play with with these lasers. So, so that's going to wrap it up for this one. I uh, just wanted to do a little quick one while I needed to get this job done. And uh, glad to know that I can use these dialed lasers for EVA foam as well. Uh, very surprised about the various different colors. I'll link down below to everything I used. We were using the Wayne Lux L6 laser. Again, I've been doing some testing on that and hope to have a review video out on that soon. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, I will try to link some of this EVA foam if you want to do some playing as well. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. I try to get back to those as quickly as I can. And uh, otherwise, if you like what you see here and want to see more, consider hitting that subscribe button, throw me a like. It all goes to help this channel and um, I hope you can get out into your workshop and do something too. We'll see you next time.